always get the Chronicles of Riddick confused with the Chronicles of Narnia. They're so similar. Except one has a bunch of irritating kids and a talking lion. But don't worry, there's no talking animals in this game. I really like the Chronicles of Riddick Assault on Dark Athena. Because this game gives you a lot for your money. You get a massive single player campaign. Some of these movie based video games are over in three or four hours. And even if they're pretty good, they're really short and kind of a letdown. After playing this game for three or four hours, you're barely getting started. You play as Riddick from the movie series, and although I'm not a huge fan of the Chronicles of Riddick films, Pitch Black was pretty good, but the second one was disappointing. I like Riddick in the game. The cutscenes are nicely done, they're well animated, and the lighting throughout the entire game is excellent. They do a great job of making you feel like you're playing as Riddick. And at no point do the cutscenes or third person views of Riddick climbing ladders and doing things seem like they're just tacked on to have Vin Diesel's name on the game. They actually seem like Riddick. That was my big gripe with the Wheelman. It seemed like it was a computerized Vin Diesel. In this game, it actually works. You're playing as Riddick and the whole thing gels together nicely. The Chronicles of Riddick Assault on Dark Athena is available on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. We're watching the PlayStation 3 version. Not only is Assault on Dark Athena massive, but the disc also comes with a completely separate game, Escape from Butcher Bay. I'll be reviewing that one in a separate review because it's a totally different game. I prefer this one, and Assault on Dark Athena not only is a huge game by itself, but they also give you multiplayer and a lot of unlockable content. It's very well done. Let's get into the gameplay, the technical quality, the controls, the environment. They're really way beyond what I expected. You spend the majority of the time in the game confined on this spaceship, and when you start, it's not a shooter so much as it is a stealth game. You can hide in the shadows, you can use Riddick vision, which is, you know, the thing where he can see in the darkness, like he does in Pitch Black, and you sneak around, take out the enemy drones, and eventually work your way up to getting different weapons and then the machine guns. When the screen's blue like that, that means he's hiding in the shadows and they can't see him. There's two modes. There's the stealth mode and then the standing up, shooting people, stabbing them in the head mode. And does anyone else think that Riddick and Cortez from Time Splitters are the same person? You never see them together. It's a fairly diverse game for this style. Parts of the game feel like they're more of a puzzle where you have to crawl your way up different crates or on pipes and things and, and avoid searchlights. Other parts are just straight up hallway shooting or dropping out of vents and stabbing people. When it comes to science fiction shooters, this game doesn't reinvent the wheel, but they do try to do a couple unique clever things in it to set it apart from the standard fare. I think for the most part they succeed. It's definitely a cool game and I think it's memorable. There's a couple technical glitches here and there in the cutscenes and the melee fighting looks cooler than it actually plays, but for the most part this game has terrific controls. And I was afraid that the parts where the camera pulls back and you see Riddick climbing ladders and scaling his way along vents and whatnot would, see, would be hokey and seem disjointed. They don't at all. After a while, you actually start to look forward to seeing the various things that Riddick is doing.
control room close by. Dark Athena throws some surprises your way. It takes you in directions that you didn't see coming at times. And if you like shooters and science fiction games, I think you'll be very satisfied with this one. I'll see you back here in part two for some more gameplay and a look at some of the additional content on the disc.